Hey guys, Room Picker here with another lock picking video. And today I got another challenge lock for you. This one's from Corncob1113, and we're picking the Identity Crisis. We're using the hashtag Challenge Lock Saturday, and it looks like he made his out of a Master Lock model series uh, 6835. You can see he carved a big one on it, and he very nicely carved corn cob on the side here. And we got the mummified key here. Let's see if we can get this in the vise and get it open. Top the keyway with 40 thousandths. See if we can get this open today. There we go. Got it open. There's a back pin. Let's get this uh, key open. See what uh, we were dealing with. Now that is some good challenge lock bidding. Look at how high that pin is. So it wasn't pin, well, I guess we were, we're going to pin five, but the real high cut was pin three. Had to get in there. But I was able to set that with my standard hook off the bottom ledge here like this and just oof, fit it in the place. Let's see if the key works. It should work as a stock lock, but I guess it's, um, yeah, the key works like butter. No issues whatsoever. Boom. All right. Let's get this open. I wasn't sure what the lock was when I got it out of the package and I brought everything up here. I hadn't opened the package yet, so I just brought everything. And it looks like I got everything that I needed. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Key can go in there for a second. Put this back in my pocket. Oop, careful. It's a little bit late over here, so I am excited to get some sleep after I finish this video. I'm burning the candle on both ends. Try to get everything done that I want to get done. Um, right there is what I want. Right there is what I want. I probably should have used a shim, but thankfully I didn't need it. I didn't even think about it. So one, two, three, four, five, six pins. Oh, so I was completely off. I wasn't even counting correctly. Two, three, four, five, six. And it looks like the only modification he did to the core 
Well, as you did undercut in chamber six, these all are standard here. We got some lovely serrated, and this is an offset T-pin. Yeah, this is an offset T-pin. So what that means is that the T-pin, the top of the T-pin is not centered to the pin. It's off to one side. And that makes getting out, that, that's what gave us that really deep false set that we were having a hard time getting out of. So I wonder, since these are serrated, if he threaded the Bible. There's one. Got a spool on number two with the T-pin. I was also giving us that crazy deep false set. Is there no spring here in this chamber? There is a spring, okay. Hand cut spool. Another hand cut spool. These are beautiful pins. You did a great job, corn cob. If I can pick this up and move it. There we go. So I can't tell if he attempted to vary spring strength or not, because he does have different springs in here, but I don't know if they're the, just the same and maybe a spring broke and he just replaced it. But let me organize this to what it was. There we go. Okay. I think we are good. I got a hair in here from the inside the locks somehow. Okay. And let's check the Bible. Doesn't appear. No threading, okay. So, let's give you guys a close up of those pins. So here are the pins. You can see we got those serrated and we got those T pins and you see driver pin number three looks like a serrated spool combo type thing and we got like an hourglass on four and we got T pin on five and like a spool top on driver pin six and a very beautiful serrated on driver pin one and here is our core I don't know if you guys can see. Let me rotate this. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see. See that counter milling on chamber six. And here's the Bible. I forgot to put that in there. So that is... Oh, sorry. There we go, focus. That is key. And that is the... Identity Crisis Challenge Lock from Corn Cob. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.